Hi everyone and welcome to another how-to video. In this one we're going to be covering the self-dispatch functionality in the MDT. Um, so what this allows you to do is if you've got it turned on it allows your officers to create calls, edit calls, delete calls and the same with units as well. So it basically covers the, um, the same functionality as in the dispatch screen in the CAD. So let's take a look. So you just open the MDT as normal. And if you've got self-dispatch enabled, then you'll see a dispatch uh, tab at the top instead of the normal status one. The way the self-dispatch functionality is enabled is you just go into your MDT config and you'll see there's an option there called self-dispatch. If you set that to true, then it's then enabled. So as you can see, we've got the calls on the left and the units on the right. So exactly as you would do in the CAD, you can um, view a call, you can edit it in the way you would in the CAD, um, and you can then delete it as well. Um, and you can create a new call just by hitting the button there, and it works in exactly the same way as in the CAD. And the same as in with units, um, you can view units as you can normally um, in the MDT. Um, the the state and leave buttons work as they used to um, and you can edit a unit and also delete a unit and you can create a new unit uh, just by hitting the button there um, so that enables any officers to create calls create units assign dispatch do everything that they would normally do in the CAD so very quick video this time um, hope you enjoyed it hope it was useful and thanks for watching